breaking news alert. Good evening. We are following breaking news right now at 10. Nashville fire crews are at an apartment fire in Madison. News for us. Rebecca Cardenas is live at the scene on Rio Vista Drive. Rebecca, walk us through what you know so far. Hey, Marius, the good news here is that everyone is out. The fire department that no one is injured as a result of this fire. And to give you some uh, more location context here, we are at Charter Village Apartments. I'm going to step out and show you what we can see from just about as close as we're allowed. This fire took place in a unit, in a building in this apartment complex just on the other side of that tree there. That is as about a, a good a view as we can give you at this point. Uh, but the fire department, PIO, public information officer, is telling us that when crews got here, here. There were flames coming from a second story unit of this apartment and that six people were trapped inside. They set up a ladder in order to rescue those people. By the time fire crews got up there, four of them, uh, the fire department reporting possibly some of them children, had jumped out and fled the scene. They were able to rescue two people out of that unit by ladder. I want to sh uh, you to listen, though, to what the public information officer said that firefighters saw out of that unit when they got here. There was heavy flames coming from one of the front windows. There were also occupants that were knocking on the inside of the window trying to get out. The area in which they were in was actually uh, impacted heavily and they could not escape from their front door. And the fire department at this point does have indication that that unit is where the fire possibly started. They say there are 12 units total in the building where this happened. They're not sure how many of those units are damaged at this point. They think most of them. They're also working to determine how many people exactly were displaced here tonight. Uh, and they said that some of those people who fled after jumping have begun to return to the scene. At this point, they don't think anyone was injured here tonight. And, of course, that's the good news. Marius and Tracy. Okay.